Hi. In the fifth entry of our UDK weaponry series, I'll be discussing importing sounds into the May 2011 version of UDK. This is Ryan Ellis, software developer in Cohort 16, and today is June 5th, 2011. Adding sounds to weapons is easy. The main thing you need to remember is that UDK only accepts WAV files sampled at 41 kHz or higher. If your sound files differ from this, you will need to use a program such as Audacity to convert them first. So once you have your content browser open, the first thing you want to do is click on Import. Then you need to select the directory containing your files. And then select one or more files for Import and click Open. The first item you need to specify is the package that you're going to be storing them in. Since our weapon is called Buzzkill, I'm throwing them in a package called My Buzzkill. You can also specify a group, but this is optional. In my case, I'm specifying sounds. UDK will automatically generate a name based off of the file name of the files that you're importing. You can either keep this the same or change it as needed. In my case, I'm leaving it alone. Finally, you want to check Auto Create Queue. Queue files are what UDK refers to when accessing the sounds. And this is what you'll use when you're uh, in the programming portion of this tutorial. Once that's done, click OK to All. Once everything imports correctly, you'll see the queue files and your sound files on the right hand side. And on the left hand side, you will see the package and the folder that you created. The last thing you need to do is right click on the package click Save. I highly recommend that you save these in the UDK game content sounds folder. This will make things a lot easier the next time you're in the content browser and you'll be able to find them. Once everything is imported and the package is saved, you can reference them in your code. You should see video 6 for more details. It's important to remember that when referencing your sounds, you need to include the package and the path, which you can see or find by hovering over the files. Alright, I'm Ryan Ellis. We're done here.